Hello everyone, welcome to a video that I am so excited about and I'm pretty sure a lot of you are going to be very excited about too. Since the beginning of my channel, I have struggled with lighting in my videos. That is no secret to anyone. Not to me, not to you. Even my cats probably know, like, cats get it together. But I was contacted by Diva Ring Lights, which I'm sure you all have heard of here on YouTube. They're those round ring lights that pretty much everyone uses, and they wanted me to do a sponsored video for them. So yes, this video is sponsored, but as always, I told them, you know, I would love to, but only if you're okay with me giving a 100% honest review. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. That's one of the things my viewers love about me. They love that I give honest reviews. So they said, yep, that's a-okay. They sent me the light and here we are. So I'm really, really excited to open this up with you guys and see how it is. I haven't opened it yet. I just got the package the other day and I wanted to open it on camera with you guys. For me, I personally love using natural daylight for like foundation reviews, makeup reviews, that sort of a thing, purely because I just think it looks very natural and I want you guys to be able to see how makeup looks like you would see it in real life, you know? Not how it looks behind like 18 different light setups that some YouTubers will have. But for me, I think lighting is something that could be very useful for like segments where I'm trying on clothes or something for you guys and like I can't try on clothes right here because I'm in such like a confined little space here in front of my window. And then also, you know, certain things like if I end up getting a subscription box but it doesn't get shipped to me until like 7 p.m. and then I don't have any daylight and I don't want to wait until the next day. But I usually, I, I I have to because you know that's just I need light so it'll be really good for those kind of things and well I hope and yeah we'll see so I'm just rambling at this point let's go ahead let's go and open up the light and everything and see how the setup is and how the light performs all right you guys we're doing this in my kitchen because this is a big box <laughs> seems to be taped up quite nicely and when you open it up comes with some packing paper so it looks like things are all packaged nicely the tripod fits in the box like perfectly which I appreciate dang this looks like a nice tripod oh my goodness Ooh. 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 <laughs> okay so there's the actual light so yeah here it is oh my god okay so I'm gonna hold this by the hand good idea. So this is the Diva Ring Light Supernova. It's apparently the world's most popular ring light for beautiful pictures and stunning video. Okay, it looks like I need to lay this down for this part. So here you go. Here's how it comes packaged. Cat is not included, I'm sorry to say. Everything looks really nicely protected. It's got all the pieces. I really hope there's instructions somewhere. Maybe that's all online or something. Oh god. I really hope that there's instructions somewhere. <laughs> oh crap. So there is the light. Let's go set this up further, shall we? Alright you guys, so I just plugged this in. Whoa! Woo! <laughs> Yay! So let's see, I haven't mounted it or anything to the tripod yet, but... Dang! Dang! That looks so good! And it looks really natural too, right? I mean, not good for glasses, that I could have told you already, but like... Wow! Wow! Okay, so I had to go online to get instructions on this. On the Diva Ring website, they've got an uh, instruction type thing to show you how to do this. So on the bottom of this, it's got these three screws. Apparently, if you unscrew this middle screw, you're gonna die. I don't know why or what it does, but like they inserted like an explosion clip in the video, which is terrifying. <laughs> so this thing you don't need. Like, it's for some other lighting setter. I don't, I don't know. Apparently it's extra. So, you do need to own a screwdriver because the little toolbox didn't come with any sort of a screwdriver. So, just so you know, extra tools are required. But it said that you just unscrew these two. And then, I think they called this like a Z bracket or something. I am not technical, you guys. It's got these 
three holes here you can see that conveniently fit right here. So I'm gonna go ahead, oh, you can't see, I'm so sorry. But conveniently, it fits right over the mounting screw area. So you just go ahead and screw this in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so these are on nice and tight. Okay, and then this piece came off of the top of the tripod. Apparently it is called a quick release plate, and apparently they look different depending on your tripod, but then you put it there. Is that, I really, I don't know anything about electronics, you guys. This is square and this is a rectangle. Dude, I don't know which way to, is it like that? Or do you do it this way? Oh, oh, look at me being a smarty pants. But then do I do it like that? Or do I do it like that? Why is this so hard? Okay, well, I guess we'll find out. So I stuck that thing in there and then it looks like you just poof. Is that, ooh, I don't think that's supposed to happen, is it? I think it showed him like screwing this part on. Oh, look at me. Look at me go. <laughs> okay, so that is that. I don't know. Does that look good? Oh, so I put this on the wrong way. Let's try it that way. So it slides in and then Oh, you guys, I'm so excited! And then you can just twist this, which should, if it's like any other tripod, yep, makes that nice and stiff. Oh! So this is what it'll end up looking like once it is mounted on there. So you do want to do this the rectangular way if you have the actual Diva Ring Light tripod. And on here, you can see it's got the little screws so that you can adjust. So you've got different heights that you can adjust this to for your camera inside of the light. And then on top, it's got the actual camera mount. So are you guys ready to get mounted? We have before ring light. I'm just in my hallway here. And now, ah! <laughs> here is with the ring light. I mean, it looks good, right? Get nice and close up and I'm still like in focus and everything. I mean, if this were not on right now, oh lordy. Look at that. This is what you would be getting. Ew. Ew. Yes. Yes. Okay, so as you can see, I mean glasses, it's not like terrible with glasses, but I would say if you're a glasses wearer, shoot, maybe just like take your glasses off or whatever and be blind, but look beautiful and illuminated. The light that comes in here is apparently like, it's not heat proof, but like it's one of those lights that doesn't get hot. So you don't have to worry if you are a very sweaty person like I am about getting super hot from the lights being on and whatnot. And also, I don't know if that would affect like overheating your camera or anything, but <sighs> I'm so excited, you guys. I know it's been my fault. I've been putting off lighting and everything, but shoot. It makes a difference. Here is what natural daylight, you know, I want to do like a side by side so that you guys can see the difference between natural daylight and then also with the diva ring light. Apart from directions not being included in the box or whatever that the light comes with, I think this was super easy to set up. I mean, it took me like 10 minutes to do all of this. This is going to make such a huge difference in my video qualities. I mean, being able to do check-ins like this now at the end of the night to like show you guys what different makeup products look like because you know, my bathroom lighting, it's bathroom lighting. Like it doesn't look the greatest. I mean, I try my best to like make it look as good as I can, but I'm like regretting that I hadn't saved up for a light like this a long time ago. So that's totally my fault. And I am so appreciative that you guys have stayed patient with me here you know especially with me just getting my own apartment again like I just had been saving up for this sort of stuff and not for light sort of stuff so I am just I'm beyond grateful that I got this opportunity to review this light for you guys I mean I can't like make this up like this looks really really good I think it is soft it's got a brightening feature and a dimming feature which I'm pretty sure I would just use it on this dimmest setting here because 
Yikes! You know, some people on YouTube like to have it this high. I think that might, I mean, maybe I'll disagree with myself in the playback later, but I think this is a little too bright. I think this is when things start looking a bit like too filtered and fake. And for me, I just want things to look really natural. So I don't know, you guys tell me. Does the dim look better? Does the bright look better? Does an in-between look better? Like that maybe, or that maybe, or that maybe. Or back to the dip. I'm just, oh, I could cry. I'm so grateful. This is a beautiful tripod. It's a beautiful light. The light, I believe, I mean, I'll put all correct information on the screen here, but I do believe for just the Diva Ring light, it's $249. And then I think the tripods are $99, which for tripods, I mean, you know, that's pretty standard. And also for ring lights, from what I've seen, I feel like that's pretty standard. And, you know, for 350 bucks for this kind of a setup, like, it's pricey, but if you're really like investing in your videos, I'm just making myself sound like a horrible person because I haven't invested in it. I think it makes a difference, you know, depending on your schedule, do you have access to daylight? Or like on days like right now where it's starting to get really like rainy and gloomy outside, but ugh, I wanted to film today. I finally had the day to film, you know, like it doesn't worry. It's not dependent on the weather outside, you know, you can film when you want to film. And this is just, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. You know, whether YouTube is your hobby or if you're doing it full time, I mean, just the convenience of this, I think that $350 is like, well, well worth it. The Diva Ring light and everything also comes with a one year warranty, so that's great, you know, if things are ever damaged or. Oh. This is gonna. This is gonna make an even bigger difference. <laughs> I'm a doofus. So there are these like styrofoam things that I thought were a part of the light, but apparently that was just. <laughs> extra padding. Oh, you guys, I feel so stupid. So yeah, all of these, you can take these off. It even says on here, while using, please take it away. <laughs> Oops. Does that look better now that there's not little blocks covering parts of the light? So there it is, dim. And there it is, really bright. Oh my god, I can't even, s I, that is really bright. Can you guys see me? Oh my goodness, that would that would hurt if I was filming for long periods of time with that on, but there. So you can see on the light here, it's got these Velcro straps that secure this filter on, so you can just slide it on and off so you get the light there. It's really easy, I mean, I'm really happy that this even stays on without the Velcro on there, but to attach the Velcro, see, it's just like around the back, and then you just secure it in place. And then this tripod here, you can see it's got two different adjustable legs on there so you can get the right height. It's also got the nice tilt bar in the back with a uh, squishy on it. <laughs> I don't know what this stuff is called, but it's nice and comfortable there. Everything is set really nicely. It's got a level, like just a really, really nice, sturdy feeling tripod. So yeah, I think I've said it a million times, but thank you again to Diva Ring Light for sending this my way and for for sponsoring this video. I am so incredibly happy with the outcome and everything. I think this looks absolutely beautiful and I am so, so excited to be able to use this in future videos. I mean, even today, you know, I'm doing a foundation review, so to know that I'm gonna be able to come home to this light to be able to do my final check-in and everything, oh, that's just such a treat and I'm just, I'm so excited and so grateful. So thank you so much, Diva Ring Light, once again, and thank you to my viewers watching. I hope this was helpful for you in seeing an honest review of this Diva Ring Light setup. I know it's really hard to find honest reviews on this sort of stuff and that was one of the reasons why I wanted to be able to do this for you guys. Like I said earlier, I will have all of the ring light information down below, you know, links to this light, the tripod, I'll even link, you know, the instructional videos and stuff that they have on their website. I think that is about it from me. If you did enjoy this video or found it helpful, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I'd really appreciate it and if if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. I would love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye.